The color wheels are very similar to what we saw above in the creative with the shadow tint and the highlight tint. Instead though, we have three different parts of the video. We have the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. So if we increase or decrease the slider on the right or on the left side of any of these, it increases or decreases the luminance or the brightness of it. So that's just another way See, there's a lot of things that you can do in the Lumetri color panel to do the same type of effect. So this is just another way to increase or decrease the, the exposure of a part of the film or add contrast by decreasing the shadows and increasing the highlights. You can also affect the color of these different parts. So just like we saw before with the highlight tint, we can take the shadows and make them a little bit more blue the highlights maybe a bit more blue as well and then the midtones we can make more warm or we can go crazy with it and make the midtones green the shadows pink and the highlights sort of a green color you know for my documentary this isn't what i'm going to do but for a creative music video or experimental film this might look kind of cool so that's the color wheels. It's another way to get kind of creative. I usually don't use it for my typical projects because I've already done most of my correction in the basic correction and the creative tabs. Uh, but you might come, it might come in handy for a project that you're working on. So it's just something that uh, hopefully now you have a good idea how to use it. Thanks for watching. And in the next lesson, we'll go over the HSL secondary 